Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match this time between God and Randy. And I realize that maybe we're pronunciation of God. As far as I know, that's a more accurate, like Germanic pronunciation of God rather than God. I I'm pretty sure God is correct. Please, someone who knows how to speak German, tell me, because I don't, and I really need to know how to pronounce this properly because. There are very many Germanic names in 0K, because there's a lot of German players in 0K. And Dutch players, and Nor Norwegian and Swedish, and Austrian, there's a few of those. And a lot of players who are around Germany who also have names that are going to be pronounced more in a Germanic fashion. So please, let me know if I'm pronouncing it properly, and if I'm pronouncing it wrong, and how I should pronounce it. But I'm going to be saying God for now, because apparently God was incorrect, so God it is for the moment. More importantly, though, the game. God versus Randy. Two best players of 0k. And that's saying something because we actually have a community now. We have two best players, not just one. Bit of a grudge match. See who wins this. It's going to be on Onyx Cauldron, which I really like as a map. Randy starting out in the northwest corner of the map, going for Cloaky Bots. God Southeast also going for Cloaky Bots. And this map, as you can see, is a fairly large map. It is a map for... Map for such play. Actually, Cloakies are... This is a weird map, because the way it's designed, it actually works well for pretty much all factories. I think even Amphibs can make it work. Admittedly, Amphibs can work on land decently well. We saw in the tournament with Drone, he was actually able to make Amphibs work quite well. So, that's not saying a huge amount, but still, this map has a lot of options. The one that the players choose to go for is Cloaky. God deciding to focus much more on economy, realizing the map is big enough just to worry about it. Randy, focusing a bit more on early Glaives, getting a couple Glaives early. One for defense, one for offense. And actually getting a few more. But as it stands, they're about the same. Randy going for Beam Laser E Cell Recon Com. Gold going for Beam Laser E Cell Support Com. So Randy has a bit of a speed advantage here. Very slight, but he does have his fourth mechs up a few seconds earlier than Gold does. And yeah, Eric on Jenkins in the chat is the one who's been criticizing me about pronunciation. No, it's I'm gonna say it. The way it's supposed to be said. And what the? Why is sound not... Okay, that's bizarre. Okay, I apologize. For some reason... What the heck is going on with my sound? Oh. Okay, that was weird. Sorry about that, everyone. My sound was a little bit awkward. Anyway, back to the game. Yeah, so God is going for slightly more economic play. Randy, however, got his economy slightly faster thanks to his recon comp. Jumping around, also nicely positioning this defender. Also using the jump nicely. I think I've noticed that a lot of players are going for recon commanders now due to the economy change. I was expecting battle comps more for some reason, but yeah, recon comps make a lot of sense for speed. God, however, still on a support comp. And at this point... Neither player really has much of a territory advantage. Both players just making sure to know what's going on. I mean, these glaives are going to die anytime something meaningful comes up against them. But that's still there. It's still something to deal with because that's going to be... Well, that's a... That's a thing. I... Glaives do not have a whole lot of health. So you can't really expect them to survive that long. But they, when they're not defended against, they actually do quite well. And this is not one of those cases... Well, it would have been, except for the fact that the Glaive just happened to get in the right position. But nice placement defender there. God has that handled. Randy, however, actually has a slight... Okay, is that just reclaim? I think, yeah, it's just reclaim. And Randy has, has an economic advantage. That makes more sense. He's had an advantage all this game. He's actually... Both him and God have been expanding... No! Only he has been expanding in multiple directions. God has been expanding up here and expanding through the center. North and center... Randy expanding to the east and expanding down into this massive area full of metal extractors. Or full of metal extractor spots. So Randy right now is ahead in economy. A lot of that looks like it is coming... Or at least some of it looks like it's coming from a bit of overdrive, but not very much. No, Randy has no energy for overdrive. He will soon. Gold, on the other hand, also setting up for overdrive. So both players are going to have overdrive once their energy reserves kick in. Not relevant now. Randy coming in with some glaives. God also defending with Glaives, and God attacking at the same time, getting rid of some of Randy's infrastructure, and nice blocking off, or rather the laser can't quite get him thanks to that 
Rector being in the way, but it looks like that Glaive is going to have to micro up properly, and Randy and God even out there, but Randy actually... Oh, this is a nice position. He needs to move, move in or move away. One of the two. Splitting up, unfortunately. Randy does lose that local numerical advantage and ends up losing a Glaive for free. Reduces a couple others, but the ones that got through, able to kill one Metal Extractor each. Just nicely keeping God's economy further down. These Glaives are probably going to die, though, and that is... Well, that's actually the cost of Metal Extractor if he's not careful. Now, you don't want to lose a Glaive for a Metal Extractor because your opponent can reclaim the Glaive and get... Well, has, half the cost of Metal Extractor is recouped that way. Actually, between the Metal Extractor Corpse and the Glaive, the entire cost of the Metal Extractor is recouped. So losing a Glaive for a Metal Extractor is basically an even trade, as far as reclaiming is concerned. Right, you, you haven't actually taken any money off... You've taken some income off them. That's the thing. But at this point, both players are just... They are. They need to not excess so much. They are both excessing. It looks like Randy is dealing with this, getting some units, getting some more rectors in the main base just to deal with this to build up more stuff. He does have the caretaker, of course, and he is still excessing. Twenty-three metal income. No surprise there. He needs to, I guess, get another, another rector helping out here. Another rector is building more caretakers being built up. So Randy will not be excessing any further. Gold, on the other hand does have a Caretaker. He doesn't have any Rectors here as well, but he does have enough in his main base building more things. Going for an Air Switch. Gold on the other hand... Sorry. Randy on the other hand, not going for the Air Switch. Going for pure Caretaker. Going for Cloakies. Gold going for an Air Switch. Probably going to go for Shadows. Possibly Shadow for Comp Snipe. Possibly Phoenix, but I doubt it. For getting rid of the Glaze. Possibly Stiletto just for stunning them out and then attacking them from that point. And Avenger with Shadow. So he's a bit concerned of Randy going for Air Switch, which he isn't. And five Shadows, that's going to be a Comp Snipe. Once God finds the Comp, but yeah, that's going to be a Comp Snipe. That being said, Randy does not need his Comp right now. I mean, build power, sure. And Randy is going for an Air Switch a bit later. So God's going to have the advantage. He's going to have that first Avenger up. Once that's up, then it is going to be... Well, as soon as it gets built. Then it's going to be a slight bit of air control here. Randy has not picked what his Air Factory is going to do. Both players just kind of posturing, just setting up, splitting the map between them. Gold has this side, Randy has this side. There isn't a whole lot to say about that, except that Randy does have a slightly more defensible position, I'd say. Gonna have a slightly easier time taking this out. He has more glaives right next to theirs. Going to icon view. He has more glaives, twice as many glaives as Gold has on this side of the map. And his commander is there as well. While Randy can't easily control the north side of the map, and the Avenger... Let's see if it makes a difference. Shadows are coming in for Randy. He looks like he's going to go for a comp snipe. As... Actually, maybe not a comp snipe. Ten shadows isn't a comp snipe number. That's a mech snipe number. That's a one to each metal extractor, take it out that way kind of number. So, we'll see once he starts doing that. It looks like he's going to... He might get a few, go for a comp snipe, and then go for metal extractor snipes. And a battle is not quite joined yet. Both players still... Just keeping their territory going, but good. Here he is going for the comp snipe. He does have the Avenger to spot it out. Doesn't have enough shadows to kill it, though. Actually, you know, he does. He does have enough shadows to kill it. Three is enough to kill a recon comp. The recon comp does jump away, but not enough. Nice try by Randy, but loses his commander. Like I said, though, not the biggest deal. Does take out a bomber in the process, by the way. Also, not the biggest deal. Definitely worth it, but Randy. Only slightly behind as a result in terms of economy. God, however, it, the metal advantage is a big thing. Randy does not have these metal extractors claimed. Well, God has m just has more claimed. And it looks like God has more overdrive going for him as well. Randy's main base... No, Randy's got the same amount of overdrive from the looks of it. 3.2 on his... Actually, God has less. Or a little more fluctuating. Doesn't much matter, though. Randy does have an economic disadvantage one way or the other. While... On the other hand, Randy does have his commander right there. He can reclaim that and get that metal. And he really should. He needs to he has reclaim he can go for. Bombers coming in for Randy, and they are going for the comp snipe as well. However, three is not enough for a support comm. It's enough for a recon comm, but it's one short for a support comm. He needs one more. Actually, I'm a little surprised he isn't going for this. Avengers are coming in. Go ahead trying to defend his commander. He's gonna kill one of the shadows right off the bat. I'm a little surprised no metal extractor snipes have happened so far. I really am. It's At this point, we have quite a few Shadows coming in for Randy and for Goat as well. Both players have that. Shadows coming in. There we go. There's the Mech Snipes. Or, well, should be. Why are they going for Glaives? 
Okay, that's bizarre. They are going for glaives for some bizarre reason. Like, Phoenix is be the thing to do. And there was one. Well, sort of. No, that's a tick. Tick going off, and Randy just taking advantage of that. His tick working out nicely for him. Now, God, is he going to go for... He's got to go for the mech snipes. Why is he not going for the mech snipes? I mean, Randy's behind an economy, so just use that to keep him down. I mean, Randy's going to eventually go for mech snipes of his own. Or, I would imagine he would. I don't see him actually doing that. Instead, he is moving his glaives forward, going for the glaive snipes instead, and Tick's taking that out. Metal Extractor being killed nonetheless, but Ticks are taking that out. So, Randy and God kind of even, but God has a massive economic advantage, or massive military advantage. Economic advantage is not so massive. Military advantage is quite large. That being said, Randy getting the Avengers, taking air control, and I think he's going to have it too. At this point, we're kind of at the stage of the game, you see both players are just trying to keep their sides of the map solid, but whoever gets air control, I think is going to basically have this. Like I said, the Shadows can mech snipe. Whoever has air control can freely mech snipe. And it looks like, I think God is going to win it. I think he's going to take the, the air control from Randy. EMP'd out one of the Avengers from Randy, and the others have just been killed. But like I said, not going for the metal extractors. I'm sure there's some reason for this. I'm just surprised, because metal extractors are such a juicy target. I'm just surprised it's not happening. And Randy is going for Gold's metal extractors, just trying to push him down. Now, that being said, God still does have enough metal. He has quite a lot of metal income, 38 metal income. A lot of that from Reclaim, but still, 38 metal income regardless. This whole battle is God's. He's taking this entire field. Randy has not reclaimed his commander, so God's economy without Reclaim is about even, but with Reclaim is not. And a metal extractor does go down. It looks like a snipe did happen. But there's more metal extractors that can be sniped, and it's just a matter of whether or not Randy takes this. He does get rid of some of the defensive structures. Sorry, whether God takes it. And God is going with the Glaives to take the north side. Another bomber coming in here to get rid of one more Rector. So this north side is definitely God's now. He has control over that, and the Avengers... Okay, God has air control. That's the thing. God now has air control. I don't think... Randy's not going for vamps. He's trying to mass Avengers and just take back air control that way. No Jeth Rose because that'd be too risky with the Glaives. Avengers coming in to try to deal with this, but I think God has this. A little hard to tell, though, but yes, God does have this. There's more vendors there in a better position, and they are taking it. That's game... Well, that's air control for God. That's quite likely game as well. The Avengers, as you can see, obviously do quite well against the Glaives, and Randy throws in the towel. That is game. Didn't even get to the point of a final assault, but that's fine because that... So how it goes, Randy just knew he did not have air control. Without air control, he had no game for him. So that's going to be it for me tonight. Thank you all for watching, and have a good night, everybody.